Hi, my name's Ian Beck. XSLF are touring at the moment and I managed to catch up with them in Nottingham where they're promoting their new album, Arup Bang. I asked frontman Henry Clooney a few questions. How long did it take? <laughs> We've been writing the album, well, should I say, I've been writing the album. I suppose it's been about two years. Um, got some demos down and finally got round to fleshing them out a bit more. Um, sent them over to Jim and Avi and let them decide what, what they liked, if they, it was what they wanted to, to have. And. Uh, <laughs> Other than that, that was my phone going. Oh yeah, <laughs> was that yours? Aye, but anyway, um, yeah, I suppose two years in the from the very beginning of just sitting knocking chords together and coming up with a couple of ideas until the songs were ready to record. Um, everybody added their parts, and we just went with it from there. And I'm happy with the way it turned out, you know. A lot of people have been asking me why it's called a rock bang. <laughs> it, it's actually, people have come up with these weird ideas. Somebody on Facebook said, I think it's something to do with sticking a, a, a straw inside a frog and blowing it up. But it's not what happened was when we were recording it, Jim was in the drum room and I hadn't finished writing all the lyrics. So I had to give him cues of certain parts of the song. I think musically it's called a push. So where it would go, ba -dum -ba. instead of saying, ba -dum -ba, I thought we'll just go, a rock bang. And that's all it is. It was like, when the part in the song comes up where it goes, ba -dum -ba, it was like, a rock bang. And that's the way it stuck. We did that for the first couple of songs. And I remember saying, that's a title. Total means nothing, but um, it, it, it's different. Um, I suppose we could have called it Access LF, that would have been exciting. <laughs> but a rock bang, that's where it came from. Yeah, that stupid question about <laughs> stiff little fingers. We've been going five years, we're still getting the. Uh, Without Jake Burns, there's no stiff little fingers. And as I've said all along, as I've said now, I 100% agree. Because we're not stiff little fingers. We've never claimed to be stiff little fingers. We're half of the classic stiff little fingers lineup. Um, we only do songs that we were involved in. Jim didn't record in flammable material, but he toured it as the, as the drummer. Everything else, um, people have asked us, why we don't do listen and bits of kids because Jim has known them and the, you know you start doing that then all you, you are is an SLF tribute band because you just pick songs that you want to do but we only do the ones we were involved with and I think that's fair because it, instead of just saying oh, here's here's a string of S SLF songs that we used to play and you know blah 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 they're probably uh, not probably but there are other songs we would have done um there's songs i have written that we would have done but it like i say jim wasn't involved in them and it didn't feel right to me just to do any song we felt like it just because people wanted to hear it um and i like that idea that i don't know what the word i'm looking for is I want to say integrity, but I suppose that's what it is in, in that uh, we only, we will only do songs that we're involved in and anything else, no, it's a no-go for us. The whole, but you're not stiff with the fingers without Jake Burns just still makes me laugh. Five years we've been doing this and people are still saying it. And I, st I don't think I'll live. There's some people you just never get through to. There's some people you just want to say, have it your way then yes without jake burns we're not stiff little fingers when the most important part of that phrase is we're not stiff little fingers and we never claim to be um so that people you can't change some people's minds <laughs> the crowdfunding 
is it crowdfunding you call it? <laughs> but uh, no, we, we just did the album ourselves, no no reason, we just wanted to, uh, we just found it easier that way. And to be, to be honest with you, I mean I look at some of the stuff uh, Jake and the guys did when they were offering, you know, weekends here and days here, and I'm thinking, yeah, with XSLF, we could maybe offer you two days in Belfast for three pound twenty. You know, and, and, and it's it's hard to say that we would have generated a lot of interest on things like that. But we just did it ourselves and um, found it easier that way. Uh, no criticism of anybody. It's the way it works. Is the way it works. Um, but we, <laughs> like I say, when you don't have a lot to offer, you just go with what you have to. And uh, as I as I like to say in all my interviews, we did it our way. <laughs>
So, <laughs> some things you just get away with. <laughs> That was good. That was that's what happened last night. Standing there with not remembering how the song goes. Oh dear! I'll never forgive myself for that, especially when I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of people asking if the album's coming out in vinyl, and yes, it is. We really want to get to that, and we've got a guy wanting to do it. So hopefully, next few months we'll get that sorted. Uh, this, apparently everybody now wants vinyl, which is good. I'd like to have a vinyl copy of it myself. So for anybody that's wondering, yes, it will be coming out. We don't have a concrete release date for it, but pretty soon. Yeah, I suppose the way we look at it, we like having fun when we're playing. Um, we'll bring people up on stage to sing Barb Wire Love for, for our, there's nothing behind that, it's just fun and you know our whole way of looking at it is if it's not fun for us why would anybody else enjoy it because if you're not having fun you can't expect anybody else to have fun with it uh, so the, the way we go on with it is that that whole idea of, of the fun side of it but at the same time you know where, what do we do from here um are we writing new material we've got the album out what's ahead in the next year or so and <laughs> anybody <laughs> for slf fans that know my rate of writing songs the next album will probably be out in about 2032 you know so <laughs> I don't know how I wrote so many songs so quickly for this one, but uh, we're not in the middle right now of writing anything new for the next uh, probably year or something. We'll, we'll, we'll go with this album. I would like to do a show where we do probably most of the tracks of the album with, with a few greatest hits thrown in uh, because one of the another criticism we've had and it's a fair criticism is are we not just put playing slf songs as the greatest hits and nothing else behind it well now we are doing our own stuff too and i think for me it stands up to go along with all the other stuff it's not like it's so different or not strong enough for to be put alongside any of the songs and as long as it keeps like that then that's going to keep it fun and don't I sound really serious <laughs> it was fun doing this first time we've done this in a long time if we do this again which, which I hope we will it would be nice that if anybody has any questions that they want to ask should it be uh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Should it be? You're not good enough to do this. Why should you be doing it? I think it'd be fun just to hear what people's other questions are because at the minute, you know, it, it's uh, it's covering a certain area of stuff. Hopefully it covers most things. But if you have any questions, um, we would we'll go through that. We'll have to find a way though of getting, uh, getting the questions asked. 